Hey guys, welcome to my very first unboxing video and today we're unboxing the Call of Duty Ghost Harden Edition for PlayStation 4. You might see uh, my computer glare from in there because I'm using my uh, the uh, camera on my laptop because I don't have any uh, camcorders or anything to use so I'm just using what I got. I'll use my uh, iPhone here to take closer looks at the boxes and what we get. So uh, you don't have to see the uh, uh, glare from the screen. So All my games I'll be getting from now on will be for PlayStation 4. Unless games only come out for PlayStation 3. One, one game I can tell right now is uh, AC Assassin's Creed Liberation HD. Um, but I got this in the mail today. I accidentally I got the Prestige Edition too because the guy at GameStop ordered me the... Uh, Prestige Edition when I specifically asked them for the Harden Edition. So I took it back today, got a full refund, so no harm done. But let's get this thing open. Good old scissors. Too bad I can't play this for another, what? What's today? Let's say another nine days. That's not that long. I can wait. I'll be playing Assassin's Creed most of the time anyway. Similar to the Black Ops 2 Hard Edition. Got a flimsy, flimsy plastic case here. Set that off to the side. Yep. And I can give you a quick view of this box before I unbox it. We got the front face of a box right here. Call of Duty Ghost title, obviously. PlayStation 4. I love that blue. Or right, M for Mature. Yeah, go figure. Infinity Ward, Activision Hard Edition. That's one of the nicer cards I've seen. Most of them are just bland, like the Black Ops 2, Mod Warfare 3. Much bland covers. I uh, just got the barrel of his gun and just some glare from lights in the background, I suppose. Let's see, so sorry, I'm using my uh, iPhone here. I don't have a camcorder to use, but got a collectible steel book, season pass with the free fall map, and the parachute strap, paracord strap. These are parachutes. And this also comes with a player, jeez, I can't read through the phone, player patch, player card, player background, and the official soundtrack. And too bad that's not on disc, but you know, what are you gonna do? Activision, Infinity Ward, Raven, Neversoft, uh, Demonware, you can read that on the box, Demonware, Havoc, Bank Video, PSN, Dolby Digital, Blu-ray Disc. Yeah, I can't really zoom in here. I thought it could be blurry. These boxes still look like the uh, PlayStation 3's cases, except for the blue. Uh, got one to two players, 49 gigabytes minimum. You be one to 18 players on network. HD video output, 1080p. DualShock 4, remote play with the PlayStation Vita. Offline play enabled and online play optional. Uh, blood, drug reference, intense violence, and strong language. All you could expect from a Call of Duty game. It looks like we got one of uh, these buddies here. More glare. I don't know if these are any of the main characters for the campaign or they're just, you know, soldiers from the ghost team. Took the plastic off. Here we got the better look at the box. Same exact thing. Let's take this off. You have the ghost emblem down here. And steelbook first. The uh, colors are a lot better on the uh, steelbook. A lot more shinier than on the uh, box. Same, th same design. It's a very nice blue touch. Got the season pass in the game disc. Love that blue. 
like I said, like 20 times already. Take out the disc. Once you take these off as well, you just get the um, ghost emblem. Right here, got the season pass. You're, you're a challenge, Missy. You really are. Anyway, he's sleeping in my suitcase. Back on to topic. Season pass. Ooh, so I access the four epic DLC maps packs. Man, I cannot wait. Multiplayer character head. Looking camo and reticle. Reticle. Player patch. It's pretty cool. And the back has the code. Bonus digital content. Free of all bonus map. Player patch, player card, official soundtrack, and player background. Dude, I'm getting loaded up with all kind of crap. <laughs> Anyways, Destiny Beta, like I already said. That's all that's in there. Okay. Hack Division, that's probably why. And safety rules that I'm not gonna follow, probably. Hmm. Mm hmm. Press and hold the PlayStation button. Then select close application on the screen. <laughs> hmm. Removing a disc, touch the eject button. Hmm. Pretty neat. And there's another side of the steel book. Alright. Next, we got the strap. in here. This is after I took it out of the box. And here's a very nice close-up of the strap. Very thick rope there. And they give some ones very nice type of metal. And velvet casing. Now I'm just gonna put everything back in here. And here we have it. Yep, that just about wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll be doing an unboxing for the Assassin's Creed 4 limited edition for the PlayStation 4, along with the Watch Dogs Fletcher's Edition, or that releases. So, you know, whenever. Spring. Oh well. If there's any hard editions or Cledger's editions between that point and now, there'll be unboxing. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching again. Comment, give thumbs up, subscribe, uh, and we'll see you all in the next video. All right. Woo!